It's time to move the flag from the Capitol grounds. Surrounded by a bipartisan group of state and federal officials, South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley joined the growing chorus of calls to move the Confederate flag. For good and for bad, whether it is on the State House grounds or in a museum, the flag will always be a part of the soil of South Carolina. But this is a moment in which we can say that that flag, while an integral part of our past, does not represent the future of our great state. The governor's comments came hours after religious and political leaders in Charleston called for action. The time has come to remove the symbol of hate and division from our state capitol. The time has come for the General Assembly to do what it ought to have done a long time ago. South Carolina's use of the Confederate flag became an issue once again after pictures emerged showing accused church gunman Dylan Roof waving and posing with Confederate banners. Take it down! Take it down! On Sunday, dozens of people gathered in the state capital, Columbia, to call for the flag to be taken down. And some spray painted the words Black Lives Matter on a Confederate monument in Charleston. In 2000, Charleston Mayor Joseph Riley led a march to Columbia, calling for the flag to be removed from the top of the Capitol Dome. The protest led to a compromise that moved the flag from the dome to its current location at a nearby monument to Confederate soldiers. But the deal requires a two-thirds majority in both houses of the General Assembly to make any changes. Political leaders say there are a growing number of lawmakers in favor of removing the flag. But some political leaders say removing the flag is only the start and that there is more work to be done. It will not solve the racial divide in South Carolina. 